Well, back again, guys. You know what time it is. It's retro bargain hunting time. Mushy monsters. Mushy monsters, are they? Yes. Oh, very nice. How much do they go for, sorry? Five pound the whole lot. Five pound the whole lot. Very nice. Yeah. Have a little think on that. I'll be back in a sec. Thank you. Okay. You've got a nagging old woman. <laughs> Some men are, aren't they? How much you got in your game, sorry? <clears throat> Depends what ones you want. Maybe interesting. Do you nuke them? Yeah, you can have three quid. Was that a collection fund? <laughs> yeah, for charity. Charity. <clears throat> I'll do my bit. It has a bag somewhere. You got a bag, yeah? Okay, thank you. I'll have a little think on that, buddy, you right? Hey, yeah, no worries. I'll be here all day. <laughs> Cheers, I'll see you in a sec. Um, fifty fifty. Yeah, I knew it was for Thank you. Thank you very I will much. Go grab your Top man, thank you. Cheers, bud. Fantastic. Cheers, Chief. No. Thank you very much. Have a good day. Got any controllers, buddy? Uh, two pounds each. What have you got in your Xbox One games, buddy? That one's 10, 7, and then 5 for each. Thank you very much, you lovely. Bring a bag. Okay. Mm -hmm. How are you? Bag? I've got this. Mm -hmm. Put down the front. Mm -hmm. No, I haven't got it. I'm going to do that. 
So I've lost you off you, please. Yeah, good night. 20 pence box. And that one as well, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> and that one, sorry, cheers. Brilliant. Fantastic. Good. Cheers, Chief. Thank cheers. you. Take care. We found it. That's the one we've been after. Finally, we found it, guys. <laughs> How much you got in your little car box, sorry? Sorry? How much is it going for this one? Um, five pounds, that one, because it's never been... My grandson absolutely petrified. Oh, really? Yeah, even <laughs> a... Even a... Would you take three for it? I'll take four. You can have it for four if you want. There you go. There's four. Thank you so much. Thank you very Thank much. You. Cheers. Have a good day. Thank you. What you got in the little? Are you sure? Yeah. Oh, bless you. Some result. Appreciate that. Thank you. Are you on TikTok at all? I'm on YouTube. I am. YouTube. Yeah, yeah, doing yeah. YouTube, just collecting little yeah, bits you, and bobs of bitly stuff. Around, yeah, stuff. yeah, yeah, doing all that sort What's of thing. Yeah, Retro Holder 87. So yeah, I'll just go around collecting more of the nostalgic 80s, 90s bits, sort of from the childhood, any yeah. sort of games, retro games, toys and things like that. But yeah, picking up these because they're quite uh, unique as well from yeah. uh, all the old books and things like that. Right. Have yourself a good day. And you. Cheers, take care. Thank you. Bye-bye. Retro Holder 87. There. Start typing it in the first one that comes up. Yeah, there you go. Perfect. Oh, top man. Appreciate that, my man. Cheers. Thank you. Yes, if you see me in the yellow, come and say hello. Yeah. Cheers, Cheers guys. Have a good one. Well, there you go, guys. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. And as always, some retro pickups. And there you go, a little preview of something else. So come back and join me and let's see the haul we picked up today. Yes, bit of a struggle on this occasion at this toy hunt at the car boots, but whether every cloud, there is a silver lining. I've still got some pretty unique and quirky bits to showcase for you, but also, like I said, have no fear. Retro holders here because it gives me an opportunity to showcase some proper retro goodness that I have picked up also this week, so stay tuned for that. Oh, I do apologise. I don't mean to just pop up like that, but it is very relevant. Back from my last week's episode, I completely forgot to showcase this pop-up pirate and the reason i bought this one is because as you can see on the artwork of the box it's very different to what i've usually seen which you normally have the actual figure so i thought i better pop up and show you this one before we crack on with the rest of the other lot from this week but fantastic yes look at it in its fantastic excellent vintage retro condition and i believe it was from the 1980s just poorly from that card artwork and let's see if it works. Let's get something. Nothing yet. Hey! And it still works. Look at that. Fantastic. Anyway, back to this week's episode. Right. 
like I said, bit of a struggle, bit of a stretch, but these things happen. I'm here to showcase for you that you're not going to get a hit every time, but if you keep looking and you keep working hard, it's going to pay off eventually. So we'll start off with the cute little uh, retro goodness of retro reference. Oh my goodness. Hello? Hello? Oh, yeah, see, make sure he's telling me, yeah, yeah, you make sure you subscribe to my, make sure you get lo lovely little contents like this. Look, you're putting me off now. Yes, hit that subscribe button, guys, so you can be notified of more content and little quirky retro goodness like this as well. But thank you very much. Great start. Yes, I know. Yes, he's missing. The kid's got hold of it already. So as you can see, he is missing his wand already. It's somewhere in the house and we'll have to stitch it back together. But I thought that was pretty cute, pretty awesome. Sooty, watching that when I was a kid. Brought back those nostalgic memories. Perfect. Moving on to the guilty pleasure stuff, because it's all it could be. Actually, we're going to start with this, which was we saw right at the end, guys. Uh, and it did catch my eye, and I thought it was pretty new yeek. Bit more of a knockoff Transformer style, but I thought with that still being in the box, that's going to look lovely. And I think someone is going to be very happy with that on the Toys team. Speaking of the Toys team, excellent group on Facebook. Don't forget to check that out. And you get to grab little bonuses and little groups. Awesome community for sharing all these nostalgic toys and passing on the greatness as well. But yes, sorry, I do apologise. A nice little car bot still in this box. And I think they range from about 20, 25 quid. So happy days for someone that getting that one perfect put that down there so yes now the guilty pleasure stuff but it was a success so have no fear guys because we will shall start off with those lovely scooby-doo mcdonald's bobbleheads but with that like you saw in the last box we've managed to complete them we've completed the bobbleheads Woo! yes we got that final piece vilma to add so those ones fantastic and continuing we've got some other little pieces again i told you you guaranteed it it's either going to be mr men or it's going to be the minions this time it's mr men and we've got mr cool going to that mcdonald's guilty pleasure collection Shh, like i said keep it between us perfect stuff and then finishing off with this i thought it was awesome i've never purchased one before but i thought do you know what? I'm going to go for it. And we picked up right at the end this plushy Pokemon Charmander. And I think it's quite a unique one from what I have seen. So it goes for quite a few pennies. And only a quid for that. Happy days. You know I like a retro bargain. Awesome stuff. And we'll stick that back over there. Again, another Pokemon fan on that toys team. So you're going to be seeing some of that very, very soon. But like I said, guys, it gives me the opportunity to showcase some real retro goodies. And this is very new, unique, but very nostalgic from my childhood. As you can see on the back, the Statue of Liberty playset for the Road Maniacs. And look how tiny they are, but they were awesome. So these guys were obviously two sets of four heroes and villains and you went around as you do cops and robbers but a bit more extreme demolition derby style and as you can see nice little comic strip in the back there so i've picked up a few of these and we've got desert hawk to start off that one moving on to big jack beautiful fantastic I just really like the detail that they've got in the cars. The little uh, action move you get on the back. So as you can pull the trigger and you release the launcher. But very sort of rustic and cool little. Look at those little guys. Fantastic. And last but very not least. Unfortunately, I didn't manage to grab one of my favourites from this line. But I did manage to get all three of his companions. And we can finish off with Lucky Eddie, which always reminded me of Eddie from Tekken. I don't know why, but uh, yeah, maybe it's the name. But fantastic, and look at that cop car. 
These guys were called the Crash Cav, and they were against the Maniacs. Awesome stuff. So I thought I'd showcase those three for you as well. Like I said, guys, it was a bit of a struggle. It was a bit of a test for this toy hunt. But thank you ever so much for staying with me. Thank you ever so much for watching. And as always, I hope it has been informative and entertaining as always. And remember, guys, if you see me in the yellow, come and say hello. Stay awesome. Always having fun. And you will most definitely see me next time. Take care. Bye-bye.